All right, we're solving systems of linear inequalities now. They're not no longer equal. And so before we were just looking for a point where they intersected, but now these are going to have an area where they intersect. Really, they're going to represent an infinite amount of points. And so we shade rather than take the time to list all the points. So let's practice some, some of these horizontal and vertical lines. Y is greater than negative 1. So there's no x in here, and so it's not changing. All the y's are just negative 1. This is dashed. Remember that if it's less than, we use an open circle or we use a dashed line. If it's equal or equal to, we use a solid line, just like we use a solid circle when we're doing um, just number line stuff. And so y is greater than negative 1. All the y's that are greater than negative 1 are up here. 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up. And then y is less than or equal to 2, that's this line. And again, we do it solid because it's or equal to. All of the ones less than that are down here. And so what we're interested in is this is always an and statement. These are always grouped together. And so what points are solutions to that? Well, 0, 0 is a solution. Uh, 1, 1 is a solution. 10, 0 is a solution. We could list them. It would literally take forever. We'd never be done. So that is the solution where, where they overlap. Just darken it a little bit. Um, y is less than 4, so another horizontal line. 1, 2, 3, 4. And so y is less than that, so you can shade like this. All the y's that are less than that. x is greater than negative 4. So x, 2, 3, 4. Again, all of these are dashed because they're just less than. And all the x's that are greater than um, go this way. So you can see that this corner right here is where the overlap is right now. And then y is greater than x. So if x is 1, y is 1, x is 2, y is 2, if they were equal to. If you want to think of it just as the line y equals x first, the slope is 1 and it has no y-intercept, meaning the y-intercept is 0. And so up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, all those. And so y is greater than that line, so we're going to shade this way. And so this is where the overlap is happening, and that is going to be our solution. Remember to always make a point to um, darken where your solution set is. You guys are welcome to try out these next, next couple. Um, if you want to, pause the video, try them out yourself. Again, this is solid, along with this one. Slope is 1, y-intercept is 3. 1, 2, 3. Up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1, and all the way down there. So y is less than that. So we're going to shade below the line. So all the y values less than that line are below. And negative 1 is the y-intercept, and negative 1 half. So down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. You could continue the pattern the other way if you wanted to. Up 1 to the left 2 instead. And we're shading below that line as well. And so where the overlap happens is below both lines. And that is our solution set. Keep in mind that you can pick test points. If, um, if you ever want to just double check test point, and you want to pick a test point that's not on the line, say 0, 0. It's always the easiest one. And you can plug in 0 and see, OK, well, 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 3. So that checks out. 
and so you want to shade towards the side of the line that has zero. So we shaded below that one because it had zero, zero. And then this one is zero is less than or equal to zero minus one. Zero is not less than negative one, and so that's false. And so you shade the other way. Shade the opposite side. And so we go to the other side of the line, and that's why we shaded that side. Um, they come in handy, test points come in handy when you do it like this so that you don't have to solve all these equations for y. But some of you are so used to it, it's not a problem. So, if you want to, negative 3y is greater than negative 2x minus 6. Divide by a negative 3, we flip the sign. Don't forget to flip the sign. Negative divided by a negative is a positive 2 thirds. Negative 6 divided by a negative 3 is a positive 2. So 1, 2. Lots of chances for a mistake in that one. So be very careful. Up 2 and over 3. All of these, again, are dashed. Just be careful, take a note while you look at the problem. Y is less than. Notice how important it was that we flip the sign, otherwise we'd be shading the opposite direction here. So this was number one. Negative 3Y is less than negative 5X minus 3. And again, flip the sign. Positive 5 thirds X. 3 divided by 3 is a positive 1 because a negative divided by a negative. So, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Just counting the slope. And this one is y is greater than, and so I'm shading this direction, y is. So, so far we're right here. And then finally, that was the second one, 3y is greater than negative x minus 3. So y is greater than a negative 1 third x. If you divide by 3, this is negative 1 divided by 3. A negative 3 divided by 3 is a negative 1. So that's negative 1. And the slope is 1 third. So 1 and 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3. So y is greater than that, and so we're going to shade the overlapping of all of that. And so that's our solution set. Happy solving systems of linear equations. Good luck to all of you.